Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about literal equations, and we're going to solve each equation for the indicated variable. So if I was given this equation, z equals 9a minus 9 minus 3b, and we're going to solve that for a, okay? So I'm going to rewrite my equation. Let's make sure I keep my 9s and my a separated, because they do look alike. So I have 9a minus 9 minus 3b. I'm going to bring everything over except for the a. So I'm going to add a 9 to both sides, and I'm going to add a 3b to both sides, and I'll put it over here, whatever. So we're left with z plus 3b plus 9 equals 9a. Well, it's 9 times a there. Opposite of multiplication is division, so I'm going to divide by 9 to both sides. But make sure when I divide by 9 to both sides, I do it to everything that's over here. Okay, so we're left with an a by itself here, and I have z plus 3b plus 9 all over 9, and there we go. We have a isolated, it's fantastic, it's by itself, and it's equal to z plus 3b plus 9 all over 9. Now, I want to rewrite this, that a coming first, because it looks a little nicer. So I'm going to write it out like this, z plus 3b plus 9 all over 9, and there we go. That is our final answer, and it looks nice and neat and fantastic. So let's recap. We're given z equals 9a minus 9 minus 3b, and we need to solve that for a. I added an, or rewrote my equation, then added a 9 to both sides, then added a 3b to both sides. That left me with a z plus 3b plus 9, excuse me, equals 9 times a. I then divided by 9 to both sides, giving me a by itself on the right, and, excuse me, on the left, z plus 3b plus 9 all over 9. A is isolated, fantastic, it's great, but I rewrote it because I wanted the A to come first because that looks a little, a little nicer, so I kind of just flipped everything, and that gave me a final answer here of A equals Z plus 3B plus 9, all of that over 9. 